Um, but it was it's kind of it's this a bit of a forgotten gem. And I really uh, love introducing this movie to people when I get the chance because I think it's so much fun. Um, oh, yeah. It's such a product of the 80s in its uh, music and it's uh, the, the whole style of it. The uh, humor. This was the um, the heyday of the horror comedy. Uh, this mm-hmm. was a great year for horror comedy. Actually, this was the same year Reanimator came out, and it's oh. it's actually very similar tonally to Reanimator, I think. And it even has yeah. uh, kind of a, I a, sort of like a superstar '80s horror superstar cast of like second build people in in '80s horror movies, because it's got uh, Clue <laughs> Gulliger, who was also in. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. It's got uh, Miguel Nunez Jr., who was also in uh, Friday the 13th Part 5, and uh, Linnea Quigley, who is one of the more famous, uh, for lack of a better term, Scream Queen actresses. Um, although she was ne- she was never like a final girl type character. She was always kind of like the crazy, wild character, as is very clearly <laughs> Gee, on display why. in this movie. I really enjoyed it. It was like a it's a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, it's it's so great. It's um, no to to talk about the actual movie a little bit. Um, <laughs> one of the things I love about it. So it's in this they actually give a explanation as to what causes people to come back from the dead which in night of the living dead and subsequent movies i love that they don't but in this one i love that they do because it is so first of all it does separate it from night of the living dead but it is also Mm -hmm. so silly and over the top yeah like it's very very rare i can't think of another move maybe world war z or something that that involves um a third act climax where they call the military and the military nukes a town (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah so, maybe maybe 28 weeks later or one of those true yeah yeah uh so like tying the zombie outbreak to uh haphazard chemical chemical handling by the uf u.s government i think is hilarious and yeah. um it also uh it takes a very what's the word a very integral part of generally how zombies work away which is traditionally you shoot a zombie in the head, destroy the brain, you kill the zombie. They take that away in a, a spectacular manner where they yeah. <laughs> uh, they don't just not die. Nothing you do can kill them. So they just keep coming back and perpetuating. Nothing you can do can stop this from happening, which I also really love. And uh, oh. The line, the line that really gets me every time, which is a line that went right over my head the first time I watched it, but really pinpointed the comedy for me, is when uh, they try to kill that first zombie and it doesn't work. And and Freddy, I think his name is, says it worked in the movie. <laughs> yeah. No, or, or Frank says it worked in the movie. No, I'm sorry. Freddy says it worked in the movie. Then Frank says, well, it didn't work here. And then Freddy says, you mean the movie lied? Yeah. Which <laughs> kind of sums it all up, the, the humor, humor for me. It's a, that is such a great exchange and such a great moment. And I, I also I really like the, I like kind of the switcheroo that this movie does, where it starts with the living, like the the humans, thinking, oh yeah, go after the brain, target the brain, mm-hmm. and then it swaps for the then the zombies are the ones going after their brains. Right. Yes. Yeah. And I just I love that. Like I just think that's such a clever way of like. Just kind of like flipping the script on everybody, and it's, it's like has a lot of uh, a lot of irony to it. Yeah, 